Welcome to part two of how to graph a castle on Desmos. As you can see, in between, in uh, my last recording and this recording right now, this uh, uh, there's a bit of stuff added on on here. I, as I did mention, that uh, I will be yeah, making some changes to uh, to this castle. To, um, as uh, if, if I if I did these things on um, on camera for one one um, you 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 miss out on the, on the figuring out out stuff um, which, which which is not good and and second uh, um, I I don't like recording long videos so um, yeah uh, so take so take the liberty to to make your castle however, however much you want uh, I left I left out the I left out the tops that this is what we're going to be doing over here, and uh, something else I added constants. Uh, well, really just one value that's adjustable, and that that is the width. So you know, if I if, if I I make this smaller, it, you can move these values. Um, you can make you can move these castles closer to each other, um, and also if you, if you want to make them bigger, uh, those are also adjustable. I will leave at twenty for now. And now for for the actual topic of how do you, how do you get um, how do you get the top triangles on onto um, uh, on on onto onto your castle? We're gonna be using this equation here. Well, not directly, but but we will be using it. I'll show you how show you a bit on how to tailor it towards towards what we need here. Let's move it down here for now. And for our added convenience, this graph doesn't really start at a nice spot. It, it's, I mean, yes, center at zero, but but the uh, but uh, the peaks are in terms of pi, and and uh, and uh, I, I and uh, experimenting around it. Of course, this one is the is the slightly easier version of we want to work with. And so now, now, now you start climbing at zero over versus minus pi over two. All right, and then, and uh, we'll also make another change in that. That is, uh, so so that we don't have to be working in terms of pi anymore. If you multiply the front, no. If you, if you multiply x by pi right right in here. You can see now that uh, rather than going from zero to pi, it's now going from zero to one. So, um, so, uh, so the y values have pi in them. That's okay. That's not our concern. We uh, we want to uh, we want to uh, move move this along the on the x axis for one. So that's why y is not relevant. And second, it's y y starts at zero. So if, if you want to move it to five units, you just simply add five to the end. Um, and so, so that's why that's why that pi at the top is is not going to be an issue. Uh, now, we want to want to uh, what do I want to say? Right. Uh, we want want these values. We want this graph to be relative to these center points here. Uh, so essentially, we'll, we'll be taking one one of, one of these peaks, and we're going to have them have them. Uh, Moved over so that at the right, not just on top of minus seventeen point eight five four. All right, not a good idea. Hard code. I'll I'll do it. I'll do it on this video because it's quicker. But on your own time, please. You know, I, I recommend defining constants. So if you need to make adjustments, it is it makes your life much easier. So back to what I was saying, we, we want to want to want to um, want to have have this peak, uh, not not just not just over minus seventeen point eight five four or whatever value you have right now, uh, but we, we also want to have it over over um, this value here. I I I intentionally changed just just these values so or that direct so that we're directly centered on on uh, on on the uh, we're directly centered at at uh, at x equals zero. So, so that it makes the, it makes the computations easier. All 
All right, and and so if you want to move it along the x-axis, that it, uh, uh, we have done this many many times. I'm uh, if you want to move move it to the right, you add you know uh, I'll, for demonstration, I should I should add add a constant. So what I did was uh, if you make one okay, so convention is to call this h or or um or x sub zero if you want. So if you want you want like like an x under, underscore or value. Uh, it's uh, is it's the underscore symbol uh, shift shift dash if if you if every keyboard has it. Uh, but let's, let's use H for now. And yes, we want to add a slider. And now, if as you can see, if we move if we move this H value, we have these values move it off. All right. I can imagine comments coming right now saying saying that that this guy defines defines a constant tells us tells us not to hard code and and and, it, and deletes the constant and goes back to hard coding, waiting for those comments to come in. All right. Uh, so before we define the shift, uh, we want we want to know how we're going to calculate, it, and that is as we know that this value is one. I swear I've done this before. Um, so if you want this va value to be one, you want you want this to be to be directly over zero. Uh, you want you want to want to you know, move it to left by one, and then if you want the top over over um, over over whichever one we want, tap the value, and and, and you're guaranteed that point is round top there. That's how it's done. And the uh, other thing, I think we need to do is, um, if we want to, we want to adjust for the width. And one way you can do it is, let me let me bring you an easier way way to do it. No, not that. So first, you divide pi. By seven, by whichever one we, whatever value we want. In this case, is this value here? Uh, there's your shortcut. At least I picked up a few things along the way, so I, so I hope you're not disappointed over that. Do we have at one point directly over minus seventeen point five four, and the other one conveniently placed on the other side? That's good. This this is almost what we want. Not not. Uh, not entirely yet. Uh, and 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 uh, if I multiply this this numerator here by two, you can see now we we get double the frequency. And I, I rec and for convenience, uh, I, I I'm like this is this is not uh, this is not like a have to thing. You you don't have to, but for your convenience, I recommend. And uh, picking multiples of of uh, of two, and then and now um, now this width is what we want, and we want to shift over by what this distance is, which is the same distance from zero to here. So we'll pick on this value four point four six three, and we only want to influence the x. We don't want to influence anything else. So say four point four six three. You can see now, now we have now we've got this value back. Not not ex not exact because there are more digits afterwards, uh, but this is close enough to what we want. All right, and and obviously uh, we uh, we we only want these these values here. We we only want. We want to we want to range from this point to this point here, and uh, I'll show you, show, you, show you a bit of a trick here. Obviously, you, you can write these numbers down on Notepad, but uh, at, uh, if you don't want to take one out and you, and you want to say and uh, you want an easy way to remember it, go one at a time. Uh, so I just remember this minus twenty two point three one nine. I don't I have no idea what, what these other values were. Um, I, my memory is not the sharpest. So I just go one at a time. So I say, all right, now I know I need all the values to the right of this, and I know I need minus thirteen point three nine two. And 
and uh, he, he, you can see that we got one of them, but we lost the uh, we lost the rest. What do we do? Uh, well, um, well, first we'll need to you can you can make a comma separator range, and uh, so pick a dummy value, uh, use zero for simplicity, and uh, you can adjust it to be what, what you need it to be. So in this case, it's thirteen point eight one nine. And this other value, 22.316. Is it? Yeah. Actually, if I have it wrong. If you have it wrong, you, you can always backtrack. Okay, and this is 0.389. Alright, and, uh, and if, you, if you want to make it taller, go ahead. Uh, and you know you can give it an amplitude, and um, and uh, so I, I don't know what your castles look like, but if you have lines that, that are crossing this point here, uh, you can set another range to find a wide range. Okay, you can make whatever color you want. So uh, th th that's gonna that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, well, yeah, um, it's a good idea. Yeah, I'd be interested in, uh, in which other castles you make, so post links in the description. Um, but, uh, but if you're going to copy someone else's graph, make sure you have the permission first. Don't just copy their graphs willy-nilly. Okay? Alright, hope you enjoy. Hope you, hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you in the next one.